Guess what? There's a new tool in the October 2024 release of Illustrator that allows you to attach and align objects to a curved or a straight line path. And then you'll see. I've downloaded these icons from the link in the description. And with the pen tool, let's create a curved path just like that. With the selection tool, select all the objects that you want to attach to this path and activate the new objects on path tool, a very descriptive name. If you don't see it, click edit toolbar and then find it here under the modify section. With the objects on path tool activated, click once on the path to align the objects, which will create this object on path group. You can see it here in the layers panel. And that's amazing. But there are multiple widgets to that group that you can use to make further changes. This one here is the rotate all widget. Click and hold on it and then move the cursor around it to rotate the objects. Holding shift while doing so will rotate them in increments of 15 degrees. This widget on the bounding box is called the space widget. And it allows you to adjust the spacing and distribution of the objects and you can see the exact value as you move the widget. Holding down Alt or Option while doing so will make the objects move toward the center of the path or away from it. This one here on the first object is the Move All widget, and it allows you to move all the objects along the path if the path is long enough. And the last widget is the Select Move widget that is available for each individual object. This one allows you to shuffle the objects by simply dragging them around. As you move the object, it will take the position of another one. You can also click once on the Select Move widget, open the Properties panel, and then click Detach to detach the object from the path. To attach more objects to the path, simply copy the object using Ctrl or Command C, and with the Selection tool, double-click on the group to enter isolation mode, and then press Ctrl or Command V to paste. You can also make changes to the path itself. I'll activate the Direct Selection tool, and then drag an anchor point to edit the path. And this works on any path you create. It could be a circle, a square, a star, a random shape, whatever. Okay, that's it.